pretty much I'm going to have to cut the intro there because our tourist of the week is actually ex local of the week. Steve Dunstan, founder of Papa. Yeah, because yep, you, right. you used to be Queenstown based. Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time in Queenstown. Um, I think it was like seven, yeah. seven winters. Seven winters. Through the 90s. In the 90s? Yeah. The 90s. What was Queenstown like back then? Um, wow. Every time I come back to Queenstown, wow, how it changes. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> totally. So was there obviously not the Huffer store here? Huffer store was not here. So was it up in Auckland that you guys kind of found the brand? Anyway, I suppose our first season that we designed and released and sold. Mm -hmm. um, I moved to Queenstown that winter in a yeah. store so called Port of a Dog and Anthony Jones owns Quest over there. Oh right. Um, I worked in the store and sold the product that we made. What did the product look like back then? Yeah, the first, I mean the product wise it looked it looked pretty summer actually. Yeah, like, mm. watching an outerwear, like I first read this work with breathable outerwear, like mm. uh, snowboard, pants, jackets, yeah. and work with sure. Did it still have the iconic kind of puffer symbol? Because yeah. that's that's one thing that I do want to touch on is that yeah. iconic puffer symbol and how you came up with that. Actually the logo on that first collection was actually three um, eggs. Three eggs? Like off <laughs> And that didn't last long, and it, it quite quickly it was in the first year. Um, uh, yeah. Turned brown. It's a It's a round. It's like uh, three circles. Yeah. So, um, and then that's been a logo for pretty much since then. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it started from the start, it was just a little bit different. Mm. Looking to now, and looking back at the earlier designs, do you feel like it's changed a lot? The branding and the look? Um, no, I don't, I don't know. I, just, like, I think change to me is a little bit um, of a negative term. Mm. I think growth and it, you know, evolution are better words. You know, mm. you know, we're 20 years deep and we've evolved and developed. It is deep. It's change. You know, yeah. Change would be like being something you're not. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we've evolved. And the product, you know, coming from the roots and out of there. Mm. Now, today, it's obviously much wider. Like, we can sell what we can do, but now it's a bit more Yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's um, it's been it's been very exciting to watch. You know, a nice slow evolution. I'm I'm quite happy with uh with the evolution because it's not only just selling down there, we sell a lot of all sorts of things, yeah. which is kind of. It makes it difficult, but it's also exciting as well. Mm. Has the target market shifted? Because particularly back in those early days, it was the young kind of the skater community. Yeah. And now it feels like almost a bit more sleek, a bit working, working casual, you know? Working casual, right? Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's probably grown and involved with myself. I mean, yeah, when I was uh, when I was down here pre upper yeah. I was a rat bag skateboarder getting kicked out of car bikes by the police. You know? <laughs> All we want to do is streets and curves. Bring uh, back those days, I reckon. So I like, had some army pants with PVCs under it, so I could look cool. My cargo pants, snowboarding. Yeah, you know, when you're when you're in that uh, community, or, or what else, you know, I suppose snowboarding, skateboarding. Mm. Nothing else in the world really matters. Yeah, um, you're quite close-minded. Yeah, because you just honed in on that. And that's it. Everything else you're doing. Care about so mm -hmm. I suppose as you grow up, you sort of mature and you open up. Yeah, you've kind of infiltrated the Australian market now. Infiltrated, that's a good word, yeah. yeah. yeah well, you, nice. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Sounds powerful, but yeah. evolving. Um, but yeah, because that's quite hard for New Zealand businesses to do is like get into the Aussie market and yeah. establish themselves as, yeah. a, as a brand. Yeah. So, you know, when did you first kind of get into the Aussie market and has it, has it paid off? Is it established? Uh, we, yeah. we, uh, we established brand ninety seven mm. in two thousand or two thousand one. I mean, we, I'd never been to Australia. I'd pack up a suitcase. Yeah, it's back free internet, almost. You know, free internet. Like, oh, like, where I was going, where I was yeah. going. Uh, just rolled up to Sydney and um, took a bag full of samples and got some sales. I mean, pick up a store in Sydney, one in Melbourne. Yeah, it's amazing because it's like it's twenty years and it's definitely Papa feels strong. Yeah, it feels awesome. Like, oh, <laughs> it does feel awesome. <laughs> It does feel awesome. It does feel awesome. It does feel awesome. Does feel awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Steve, for oh. being our, I don't even know what to call you, but to just being here oh, <laughs> in Queenstown. Really it's great to have you, and it's oh, it's great there. to have the store here as well. We need more of it. Okay. Well, thanks for having us. Cool. Yeah, really nice. <laughs>
Do you feel like your early designs, um, looking back to now, looking, looking back to now, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>